Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. This week we did something really interesting. We went to visit a local Orchata farm, uh, Orchata factory. And so we went to Vilcanita in uh, Orchata. So they grow with a consortium of growers, about 40 different growers. They grow all of the herbs and plants that you need to put into the Orchata tea and they have an impressive factory. It's really, I was really amazed at how nice the factory was. It's got state-of-the-art equipment. They have an assembly line of the, for the process from collecting the, um, all the herbs and the plants to cleaning them, making sure that they're only using the highest quality of the leaves, and then they wash them dry them in an enormous oven, um, package them up, and it can come to you on your shelf. So they're a really unique group. They're really trying to employ local people, trying to help farmers out when they uh, grow the, the herbs and stuff. So they buy them from these, these different people. And they do a great job at employing these people and they don't need a lot of help, but they do need a little bit of help. Um, the product is available in Bilcabamba at some tiendas. If you really want to help them out and help the local people in this area, go into your local tienda and ask for Bilcanita or Chata mix. The other thing that they need is they need some sales help, sales and marketing. And so if you are somebody or know somebody that could help them out in this area, maybe that's your past life and you still have a little bit left to, to give, that's a way that you can really help them and help the local people to um, expand their product line. They need to get it into the tiendas here locally. They also would like to expand to go to Loja and get it into some of the bigger stores in Loja and help supporting the people. So without further ado, let's get into the video and the interview with these incredible people and let you learn more. Good morning, it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. And we're in the little town, where are we at, Barbara? So we are here in Cucunama Bajo. It's a neighborhood, maybe five minutes as you drive from the Cabamba area. See, sí. and you guys know Ara from the Happy Office. Yes. She's come to help us today, help me with my translation from the Mi Españoles no bien. Mm -hmm. So Ara is going to help me out today. And we're going to talk to these wonderful people here at the Bilcanita um, Orchata Farm. They make uh, Orchata here, it's a cooperative. And I'm going to let Ara and the rest of these wonderful people tell you all about it. Okay, estamos aquí el día de hoy reunidos con ustedes, que son parte del proyecto Vilqueñita de yeah. las horchatas. Entonces, vamos a hacer una conversación ahorita. Oh, and by the way, so horchata is this wonderful red drink that I have here in my hand, and it is like a tea that's made from seis plantas. Tiene muchas plantas la horchata. Dieciséis. Sixteen. different plants. Wow. So, um, horchata in Mexico is muy diferente. Uh, horchata in Mexico is made with milk. This is more of a tea, um, much better for you, I think, much healthier. A lot more uh, medicinal benefits to this. So, um, perhaps you can uh, ask them and tell me how long have they been doing this here? And, El señor quiere saber desde cuándo iniciaron con este proyecto de, de la horchata, desde cuándo están aquí. Bueno, primeramente, buenos días, agradeciéndoles por, por acogernos a este video. Y mi nombre es Laura Jiménez, soy la actualmente eh, representante legal de la asociación. Este, este proyecto iniciamos en el 2011 con 10 personas. En el 2015 hicimos un, un llamado a una persona que venía del extranjero, una española. 
y hicimos el proyecto para hacer el, la horchata ya con todo su proyecto y luego hicimos el, el con 40 personas. And then on 2015, they reached for approach to one lady from Red Cross to help with the project. So then after that, they joined 40 people to continue with the project. At the beginning, they started with 10 people. But then after the help with the Red Cross, there were a total of 40, 40 persons. Same. Uh, and so um, the majority of these people are growing the plants? La mayoría de las personas que están ahorita o que estaban en ese entonces eran los que cultivaban las plantas. Sí, todos tenían su parcela en sus terrenos, en sus casas. Y aquí en el espacio también un área de, de sembrado de, de las diferentes hierbas que van en la horchata. So all these people had the plantations, the herbs in their houses. So every partner, I mean, every, every, every worker had a garden of their house, growing all these herbs. And plus they had this field here with more herbs too. Fantastic. So, um, so this is like a community effort. This is like a cooperativa. Entonces, esta, este lugar donde está la Vilquinita es como una asociación, es parte del pro proyecto, es de ustedes? Mm, no, esta asociación, el terreno es de una asociación eh, del Chaupi, los cafetaleros, y nos tienen dado como un comodato por cinco okay. años, sí. Cinco años. Cinco años. La asociación que ustedes a la que pertenecen, Milpeñita, eh, es como una cooperación con todos. Sí, ustedes. con todos los, los socios. Actualmente estamos 23 ahora. Yes, it's a cooperation between all of them. So currently there are 20, 23, 23, 23 um, partners. 23 partners, very good. So, primero vecinos, so mostly neighbors. Diría son gente vecina, locales del área. Sí, de aquí, de del vecinos, eh, también de Vilcabamba. Oh, sí, 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 sí. Bueno, bueno. And Laura? Sí. ¿Nos podría ayudar eh, presentando a sus otros dos compañeros? Ya, yeah. eh, mi compañera Rosa y Dionisio. Yeah. Son socios de la asociación. Leonicio. 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 Over uh, ice, if you like, if you like yellow, con yellow. But pero, um, this is Lisa's favorite, nice and warm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, can you uh, can you tell us uh, what is the primary goal right now, the vision of the association? Nos gustaría que nos comente cuál es el objetivo principal, la visión primordial que tienen ustedes con el proyecto en este momento. Sí. Yeah. Eh, el, el principal de nosotros que hemos decidido es crear fuentes de trabajo para las mismas personas que están alrededor y fomentar eh, que tengan sus propios 
ingresos, que no dependan de ellos mismos, de su, su propio trabajo. People in this area need to work and they need um, good paying jobs and this is one way that they can help provide for their families and we appreciate that very much. And Senor uh, Leonu, Leonu? And what, what is your primary role? And el señor nos está preguntando cuál es su rol primordial, digamos, aquí en, en la asociación. ¿Qué hace usted, digamos? ¿Cómo participa? Escogiendo las plantas. ¿Qué, qué, qué es? Sí, sí, picando, escogiendo, picando. Aquí nosotros estamos por trabajar bonitamente con Laurita. Estamos a sembrar las ochatas para de ahí ver si ya se entrega en cualquier parte de la ochatas. Yeah. So he, what, what he does here mainly is uh, picking the products, like picking the, the good quality leaves, the good quality plants, so they prepare them for the production. And also, um, he helps planting the different plants. Perfecto. A man after my own heart. <laughs> and and uh, same question to Senora Rosa. Y para usted, Senora Rosita, eh, ¿cómo participa aquí dentro del proyecto de Ilquimita? Eh, participamos trabajando. Nosotros trabajamos con el horno. Con el horno. So as, as being part of it, perfect. So as being part of a team, they do everything actually for the production. So she says that she helps with the oven, they have an oven, so they dry out the leaves. So she helps doing that, so she also goes to the field. Pick up the herbs, things like that. Fantastic. So only the finest makes it into this product. Only the best of the leaves. Yes. yes. Yeah. They do a qualification, classification of products, so they pick up the best and throw out what is not good. Fantastic. And so, what is the primary source of distribution of the product? How do they sell this product? ¿Cómo es eh, la distribución o los recursos para distribuir? el producto, ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿cómo hacen ahí en ese aspecto? O sea, nosotros tenemos, eh, para clasificar, me dice el producto. Para, para distribuir a las tiendas. Eh, cada socia va um, con un producto a ofrecer en las tiendas. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Y ahora estamos saliendo para Loja, para a los supermercados. Y, tiendas uh, para dejar la horchata en Loja. ¿Y tienen bastantes lugares en Loja? Uh, estamos recién, fuimos la semana pasada, estamos recién abriendo mercado, mercado en Loja. Lo que es aquí en Vilcabamba, si sí tenemos ah, algunos okay. lugares que se entrega aquí. Ok, so what they do to distribute the product is like every farmer goes to the different shops in town, so they do, they do, they do it mostly locally. So every single partner takes products and distribute it in different shops in Vilcabamba. But like last week, they just started to open the market in Loja. So they left product in the Loja in the supermarkets too. So they, what their vision is to grow, to grow. Fantastic. There are some great shops in Loja I could recommend to, uh, to very well selling this product. I'm going to grab one of these real quick. And this is the nice packaging that they have. It uh, has the Vilcanita label on the front here, and uh, it's labeled from the Valley of Vilcabamba. So this is all 100% organic, very, very nice stuff. And so basically you steep this in hot water, and it reaches out this wonderful red-colored tea, 
and uh, it's just fabulous to drink. Um, this has been one of our favorites since moving to Ecuador six years ago. We kind of, this is our drink. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, could you ask them what are the needs of the organization right now? Yeah. La señora está preguntando cuáles serían como las necesidades que tienen ustedes ahorita en la organización. Eh, muchas necesidades tenemos ahora por, como le estábamos comentando nosotros, eh, estábamos ya por cerrar la fábrica por lo que no tenía ingresos para pagar la mano de obra, materia prima. Entonces estábamos pensando eh, ya cerrarla por lo que no, no, no contábamos con ese con el ingreso para pagar todo esto. Entonces, pedí ayuda a María de Lourdes para que nos asesore, nos, nos ayude, pues, a, para, porque hablando con las compañeras, es un proyecto hermoso, tiene salida, no que nos falta como que más, más compromiso para, para sacarla adelante, porque estamos un día que sí, otro día que no, pero, o sea, tenemos que comprometernos para sacar adelante a la, a la que es la horchata. Well, as she says that one of the, you know, the most need that they have is like they're they're lacking of profits, so they were actually going to close the these projects because they were lacking income. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have like enough um, profit to continue to expand, so they were struggling a lot. We, with that. So then she asked for help to Maria Lourdes to advise and to, to help pick it up, pick up the business because it's a really beautiful business. They know it's beautiful business. They really enjoy being here. But they asked Maria Lourdes for help because they don't really want to, to leave the, the project. Very good. Um, do they need more sales or do they need more product or both? Y lo que necesitan en este momento es crecer en ventas o necesitan más materia prima por producto? En ventas. Yeah. They need to, to grow is more in the sales. More in the sales. Okay. Okay, well, I think we know some people can help with that. <laughs> so, in Vilcabamba, uh, I can buy this at Granga or at a Tienda Marisol. ¿En qué tiendas en Vilcabamba podemos comprar? Eh, en el de Omarino. Marinos, orgánicos. Marinos, sí, marinos orgánicos. En las tiendas, en el mercado, en donde el señor Julio Tocto, Mariana Tocto, en el micromercado de María Picoita, María Erazo, están los, el producto. So there is a, there is a place in town where you can find it, like right around by the market, there are these shops there. So you can buy them there, at Mariana Tocto. There is another María Erazo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, María Picoita. Is anybody at the, at the Mercado on Saturday and Sunday selling this inside? Sí, sí, está una compañera ahí. Sí, la señora. Ah, and Tienda Margarita inside the Mercado. This would be a great uh, product for her. Um, she should be able to sell this a lot. But we'll reach out to her and see what she says. Fantastic. Um, anything else that you would like people to know? Alguna cosa que quieran compartir con la gente para que se enteren un poco más. Hablar de las visiones, tal vez. Buy more. <laughs> buy more. Everyone should, everyone should reach Como, out and buy. Al, por ejemplo, puede dar un, un mensaje de que le compre el producto, alguna invitación para ah. que pueda abrirse más el mercado. Claro, que nos, nos compren la, la horchata, es totalmente orgánica, nada de químicos, eh, el producto es bien, bien procesado, todo con su regla. Ok, she says that she invites the community to help support buying the product because it's 100% organic, it's no chemicals on it, and they do it very well organized and processed. And especially with with a lot of love, so it's a very special drink. Fantastic. So I, I'd like to say to all my Gringo friends, um, please, please buy this. The Vilcanita brand of horchata. You can get it all over Vilcabamba, um, and now in Loja as well. 
and possibly more shops in Loja to come. Um, we need more sales of this product so these people can earn a living and grow this business uh, to where it will help even more people. So we hope you'll reach out and so uh, everybody thumbs up. Okay, thank you for watching. Ciao for now. <laughs>